what's good everybody it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk kanye west and his ability to produce records for me was evident when i first really heard of kanye west on the blueprint that's when i first heard about him on the blueprint and he was producing tracks and everything like that i mean just you know he's on rockefeller and i was like damn man this is this dude is the truth who is this guy and then you know he came out with the college dropout then we heard you know late registration but you know then he went on to be who we know as today as kanye west then he went into clothing then he went into producing for other people then he went into you know the adidas deal and man he was killing it was doing his thing but you know a lot of times uh, some brothers like to be their own enemy and when you become an enemy to yourself you become your own footstool to yourself and nobody has done that more than kanye west you got with kim kardashian which some folks thought that was a good or a bad deal but the business wise seemed to be good she's still doing very well but not kanye kanye's doing bad got into it with the jews um, he lost the Adidas deal that dropped off a lot of zeros from his net worth. And he kept on with that. And, um, you know, now he's with this chick, Bianca Sensori. And what they're saying now is that he's asking for financial help from Kim Kardashian. That's the rumor. Okay. And. I can believe that number one, because Kanye is crazy and he's done the same thing for Mark Zuckerberg. He's asked Zuckerberg for some help. And, and now at 47, without the market you used to have, you know, you, you have four children with your wife and you basically need to help out because, you know, things are kind of going rock bottom. She's building a new house of 70 million. You can't finish your house because you bought it in 2021 and it's largely demolished. The value of the property has dropped by $14 million. You know, he's doing bad. The music career is finished. He's finished. Nobody in the industry wants to help him. You're done. What does that teach you? I'm going to tell you what this teaches me, man. And I want everybody to understand this. Whether you guys know it or not, life is about people. I don't care how talented you are. I thought I was quite talented and I can do other things on, on, on my own. And you, you damn sure can do other things on your own. But life is about people. And life is about being as important to as many people that you can be. Once you stop that, it's over. Stick a fork in it. Right? Stick a fork in it. You're done. And a lot of these people think that they're bigger than life itself, which none of us are bigger than life itself. The only person that is bigger than life itself is God. Everyone else who is not that entity is not bigger than life itself. And I wanna be a beacon of hope, especially to many of us as black men, because I love you dearly. Um, I, I, I really hope the best for many of you guys that you don't work hard with all of the talent that you have and become Kanye West. You get beside yourself. You lean into your own understanding, believing that you're better than somebody and you can go around doing whatever you want because simply you're Kanye West or you're Diddy. This is the same thing that's happening to both of them. They have too much pride. And what does the scripture say? Pride come before the fall. And I've seen so many guys that, that this has happened to in their life all because they felt like they were bigger than the brand. They could say whatever they want. And you just can't do that. The older I get, the more I'm, I'm really trying to shut up, to be honest, you know, because consequences are real. And once people start taking their hedge uh, of help around you, life is difficult. It, it is hard. You need as many friends as you can get. Add as much value as to many people that you can do and appreciate life. And life is so much better like that then you don't have to worry about talking about, I need some money, can you help me? How can he need some money? Kanye West, can you believe that? All the money that Kanye West 
has made in his life. Now, all of a sudden, he needs more money. Can you even understand that, fellas? Can that even make sense? How can it make sense? How? We can't even make any light of that, can we? No, we can't. But anybody can be stupid, especially celebrities. And the one thing that I want to tell you is continue to try to, you know, look for people that you can add value to, man. Um, not always look at what folks can do for you. What can you do for other people? But look at Jay-Z. Jay-Z is still doing that. You never see Jay-Z out here trying to offend people, running his mouth, wanting to be heard. Man, when you have the, the, the talent and, 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 and you have the ability to move things, you have money, you don't have to say anything. Your work speak for you. Your work speak for you before you get there. What you do always talk for you. You ain't got to worry about going back and forth. And, you know, and I know some people feel some way about, um, you know, some people call them the Jews or who are the Europeans or whatever you may uh, refer to. Well, bro, if you know that certain people have certain powers in the industry, why would you go there and say that? Then apologize for saying it only to go back and say it again. Go on Twitter and say it again. Then say you sorry. Now you begging. Now nobody help you. Now you 47. 47 is not young, bro. The, the, like people think they're going to be popular forever, man. I'm on YouTube right now as somebody that's 43, right? And it's hard for me to get views more every year. Want to know why I'm old? <laughs> I'm old, bro. My generation is getting older. It's, it's harder for me to relate to more people than I used to. All right how the world works things change people want to resonate with people yeah people want to resonate with people like them their age nobody want to talk about kanye like that I man you got people like you know that's much younger kendrick lamar is a much younger drake is a decade younger and they work better with people and if you don't work with people man very well you're gonna pay your life is going to be largely miserable I've seen it, man. I've seen so many guys just even here in YouTube, talented brothers. These guys cannot work with no one. You hear me? Nobody. They are terrible, you know? And then something happened to them. And, you know, uh, it, it was one YouTuber. I don't even want to mention his name because he's a hater. But this is like around um, 2014, 2015. He ended up losing his channel pretty good youtuber at the time right but he was such a hater man and um you know and he wasn't really in in the end crowd and nobody wanted to help the guy and, and he i think he came back but this is what happens then he had it then he was complaining about everybody turning on him nah bro you did it to yourself a lot of brothers do it to themselves. you know what i'm saying so kanye Hold this L. You got rich for nothing. You're an idiot. So guys, what do you think you should well should do, Jason? Back at it again with the episode of Slavery Drunk. Richard Fire, you just heard a bell. We're out.